Social Ecology and Communalism, by Murray Bookchin, published by AK Press of Oakland, California, 2007. After Murray Bookchin, Murray Bookchin unfortunately did not live to see the publication of Social Ecology and Communalism. July 30, 2006, he died peacefully in his home, surrounded by family and friends. Until his very last breath, Bookchin never abandoned his commitment to humanism and enlightenment, and he was always a forceful representative of the great radical traditions he strove to nurture and develop. Although his impact on the ecology movement and on grassroots activism is recognized and appreciated, Bookchin's real importance and originality has yet to be asserted. Fortunately Bookchin was not only a lifelong activist, but also a prolific writer, and left behind numerous books, essays, lectures, and interviews. Bookchin was a real thinker, controversial and stimulating, and he maintained a consistent social focus all his life. Without doubt, the loss of this great revolutionary will be felt for many years to come. The publication of these essays seems particularly appropriate now, as they can help us understand how Bookchin has left us a comprehensive and coherent corpus. This book is important for two reasons. First, it provides a decent and accessible introduction to Bookchin's basic ideas, and it is my sincere hope that this book will encourage the reader to take a closer look at his rich theoretical works. Second, it provides a very definable and ideological focus by which we can evaluate his older works and his many polemics. Indeed, The Communalist Project was the last proper essay Bookchin ever wrote, and the oldest essays were revised quite recently. It could also be noted that I presented my editorial choices to him while working on this project, and he even read and commented on the introduction I have written for this book. Bookchin was enthusiastic about this specific collection of essays, and thought that they represented the most recent and, in many ways, clearest expression of his ideological stance. In that respect, they can be considered a political testament. I believe that social ecology and communalism, and the whole body of ideas that Bookchin created, has left us with a tremendous legacy that will continue to challenge us and inspire us in the struggle for a new libertarian and ecological society. Let us make sure these ideas get the attention they deserve, and help create the free society that Bookchin never had the privilege to see come into being. Creating a new radical movement, and indeed a new society is an immense project that cannot be taken lightly. As Bookchin himself wrote in Reenchanting Humanity, the achievement of freedom must be a free act on the highest level of intellectual and moral probity, for if we cannot act vigorously to free ourselves, we will not deserve to be free. Murray Bookchin threw down the gauntlet. The future is our responsibility. Signed Eric Iglid, January 14th. 2007